There are a lot of 5 a.m. morning routines, 6 a.m. morning routines, but here is a productive 4 a.m. morning routine. And eventually, I just won't sleep. No, I'm just kidding. So there was a 5.20 a.m. workout class that I really wanted to try, which required me to wake up at 4 a.m. So here is a 4 a.m. productive morning routine, and here's what people do in Los Angeles at this hour. But now here's the real question. Are they leaving their home right now, or are they going home? Okay, but let's go back to last night. So around 5 p.m., I start cooking because my husband comes home at 5 30 p.m and i like to eat right when he's home because i am always hungry today we are making some sticky stir-fried rice cakes this recipe is from my friend winnie's balance and she makes really good food and i make this recipe probably every other week I then cooked my sliced chicken breast and then i also boiled the rice cakes so that it becomes softer faster We always have our dinner with kimchi because kimchi is a Korean superfood that has a lot of probiotics and it's really good for our gut. After dinner, I decided to take a Lingoda class and thank you so much to Lingoda for sponsoring this portion of this video. So growing up, I actually had a babysitter who taught me how to speak Spanish. So I spoke Spanish very fluently and then I forgot everything when I stopped using it. So Lingoda is actually one of the top online language schools in the world and they offer live classes 24 seven. And when I was making my Lingoda account, I actually chose Spanish to try to see if it could spark my memory again. They teach four languages, English, German, French, and Spanish, as well as business English, and in small groups and private one-on-one -on -one classes as well. So it really offers flexibility and good quality teachers. Whenever I enter a Zoom lesson, you can see people's faces and each lesson centers on different elements of speaking, reading, grammar, and vocabulary. All of the classes are led by native level teachers and each class has a maximum of five students. So it gives everyone plenty of opportunities to talk and really engage with the lessons. Since Lingoda is an online learning school, they offer a smooth and streamlined platform for students to reserve and attend the classes. So once you have an active plan, you can browse classes, filter by the time and day, and you can book a place in a class with a single click. Come take a Lingoda Sprint Challenge with me where it'll transform your language skills and help you go from small talk to real conversation in just two months. Cashback is paid at the end of the two month challenge and then students can choose between receiving the money back to their account or receiving the equivalent value of Lingoda class credits if you want to continue learning. So if you're looking for a new way to learn a new language, then the Lingoda Language Sprint is just what you need to stay motivated and stay committed to your goal. So click the link below for more information and use my code Maya 2023 for $25 off your sprint registration. So I am going to be waking up at 4 a.m. tomorrow. There is a workout class at Barry's that starts at 5 20 a.m. It is new. I really wanted to challenge myself to try it so I am going to do everything I can now so that tomorrow morning it's not as big of a struggle. So I have my workout clothes all ready to go. Pack my aloe bag. I'm also going boxing after my Barry's class so got my boxing gloves all ready and I'm also going to shower there. Alrighty. Okay. Husband. Good night. Are you recording? Are you going to talk to me? We're missing one. What the? My poor husband. I'm not sure what time he went to sleep last night, but I went to sleep earlier so that I could be energized to wake up at 4 in the morning. Since I've trained myself to wake up at 5 a.m. easily, waking up at 4 a.m. really didn't feel that bad either. Also because I know you guys are watching. This feels very similar to 5 a.m. actually. Not bad. I do get a little bit anxious when I wake up early in the morning because I know I'm going to have a lot to do today and it's going to require a lot of mental capacity. So I like to take really deep breaths. I gave myself 30 minutes before I need to head out so that I could really do quiet time and pray and read the Bible. This morning, I skimmed through Psalm 49 and 50, and whatever comes into my head, that is what I pray about. After a quick little quiet time, it is now time for me to get ready to head out for the rest of the day. Okay, let's 
good to a workout. I am going to two workouts today. I'm gonna to start off with working out my lower half of the body. It's all about like our hips, our butt, and our abs. And then I'm gonna go boxing. I said bye to my husband, but he was still sleeping. The moon is out. All the green light. I have made a grave mistake. I forgot my protein bar to eat in between my workouts. But that's okay, I'll just get an acai bowl. <laughs> but also I'm gonna do something that is a little unconventional. But my first class ends at 6.10 and then my next class is at 7. So I have a 50 minute window and I don't wanna waste time. So I'm just gonna shower in between those classes because I don't expect to get too sweaty during boxing because I'm not running or anything like that. A throwback song. Everything is just red from all of the brake lights. It is so dark right now. And I just really wonder, you know, where are all these cars going? Are they going to a workout too? Do they have to go to work this early? That's quite the shift. But yeah, I am someone who I love to be really efficient with my time. I don't like to waste time just sitting in my car doing nothing. I want to make sure I'm being productive, especially early in the morning. So if I can shower now, then that saves me time later. We are here. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Okay, feeling a little tired, but well, let's do this. <laughs> During the pandemic, I used to work out outside in this courtyard at 6 in the morning where it was freezing cold. We are off to my next workout, and then after that, I'm going to get in a side bowl and then get ready to go to an event that's in LA. Then I'm gonna show you guys this really bougie fitness club in Los Angeles. It's more expensive than Equinox. I don't know if I could justify a price like that, but my friend works there, so he's letting me go in and just spend my day there. It is a fitness club, but since I've already done two workouts by then, I'm just gonna go do work there. On to Sunset Boulevard is not fun. No rolling back, nice. In my What I Spend in a Week video, this is where I parked and I got a parking ticket for not turning my wheels. Out. One of my favorite acai bowls is from Sun Life and they were founded in Malibu but they have a bunch of locations in Los Angeles. After I eat this, I need to get ready in the car and then head out to a birdie green event. Where's my acai? I am now going to an event with Birdie Gray and they have beautiful dresses but they're hosting a sample sale in Los Angeles so we're gonna go to that but there is a lot of traffic going 9 10 miles per hour oh but driving in LA there's always so much traffic It was a bit chaotic in there, but I'll share with you guys what I bought. First, I got this black dress. Just a very simple, basic black dress. In the back, you can tie a little bow. It's very cute, and you can dress it up or down. For weddings, I got this dress. Very cute cut, and these dresses are really long. And then I got this one. Very similar to the first one, except it doesn't have any see-through. So... Because I spend so much time in my apartment doing work, today I thought I would do work at a different place. We're gonna go to this gym slash social working building. It's usually $300 a month, but my friend is getting me in today, so we're going to see what a $300 gym in Los Angeles is like. Why is it $300? So because Heimat means home in German, they really want you to spend all day here. So this is the entrance where you kind of check in and nobody was sitting here. I decided to get myself a smoothie because I was still hungry from the morning. 
This is probably the fanciest gym entrance I have ever seen. To my right was a hallway of mirrors and at the very end is where they have group fitness classes and hello, that's me. They have a ton of rooms with a lot of different equipment, but they also have these little fancy touches. The women's locker room and bathroom was definitely one of the prettiest I've ever seen. It's very LA and they had everything that you could need. Even though I already did two workouts in the morning, I wanted to utilize the gym in some way, so I put everything into the locker and headed downstairs. Upstairs, they have a co-working space where basically you're just working with a bunch of other people who are working remote. But not a lot of people were talking to each other and they were really in the zone. I usually always have work to do, so wherever I go, I'll bring my laptop around and I'll work on video editing, scripting, or thinking of ideas. If I feel like I'm pretty on top of my YouTube work, then I end up organizing my laptop and cleaning up a few things. I ended up moving to the couch because I wanted to be a little bit more comfortable, and then I got hungry so I ordered a banana walnut bread. Okay, just left Haima. The point of this gym being so expensive is basically they want their people to be there all day long. So you start out in the morning by going to the gym or taking a workout class, then you take a shower there, then you work there, you eat there and kind of live there because apparently Haima means home in German. But your girl is hungry and I didn't want to spend more than $20. So I'm gonna go home and eat. But thank you guys for joining me on my morning routine starting at four in the morning. I love challenging myself and I haven't done this in a while. It really isn't that bad. You totally can do it if you want to. <laughs> if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye! Okay, let's drive home. 50 minutes. <laughs>